You're watching Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk. When it comes to night fishing in Florida, there's one fish that stands out among the rest for being a nocturnal feeder, and that's the good old snook. Those people blessed to have docks on waterways usually install their night lights not just for the look, but for attracting bait fish to the dock. And guess what? Soon the snook will come too, night after night. These docks from the water are automatic snook hotspots all year long. Now take this approach to fishing at night with you. Yes, you can, on your boat, that's right. Ocean LED has developed incredible new technology, and again, not just for looks, but to attract fish to your boat. What if you could bring the fish closer to you? That's what this is about. The pure blue color attracts bait right into the lights while not bothering their eyes. If the bait is okay with it, the game fish are too. That's where Ocean LED excels. Their technology of regular and strobe light patterns have given a whole new outlook of fishing at night, just like this. Well, we got this is an unbelievable evening. We're out just out of sight of Stewart off the jetty, and we're doing a little bit of night fishing. Oh yeah, that guy hooked up. Oh, all right, baby. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Good fight. It's amazing when you see how far these lights shine back. Come on, baby. Head shakes. Okay, you almost got him. Like, I tell you, it's hard to believe that tide's ripping through there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I, I knew it wasn't a snook, but I didn't want to say anything just in case. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right, let's see that baby. All right, I'll grab the rod here. Just let some line out and we'll get a good look at him. I'll tell you, I knew it didn't feel like a snook because it didn't come out of the water and shake, but you can look at that. Beautiful or what? That's a nice Cubera snapper you got there. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Lewis, I said, you know, Snook, they're great, but I tell you, these snapper are excellent eating. I think this one's definitely one for the table. Definitely. Okay, let's uh, get the hook out. All right. And how about those blue ocean LEDs? That fish looks gorgeous. And the male snook will actually be tickling oh, yeah. the female <laughs> and rubbing against her, trying to get the spawn going. And wow. uh, you might have like one female fish and three or four of those males all around her, right to the boat, almost to the release. Wow, yeah. oh, I'd like to see that. Well, it's a beautiful bottom. Look at this. Uh oh, you got a bite, you got a bite. There you go. Oh, it's not very big, but. Oh, yeah. Little snook, little snook. There he is right there. Oh! I'll tell you that water's so clear, my goodness. All right. There you go. All right, I'm gonna put them in the water. Those little guys are in there tickling the females. Yep. Every now and then you'll hook a big fish and three or four of those little guys will come up right with her to the boat. Oh, well, this guy's about ready. There he goes. No. All right, there he goes. Oh, nice man. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It could be another Cubera. Yeah, but it's amazing because, you know, this tide's ripping behind us. And it's just... I don't know if it's a little bit too fast for these snook and they're just holding back. And hopefully when this tide comes down, you know, but I tell you, that one did a good run there. <laughs> Come on, let me show yourself. Oh, oh it might be a snook. Okay. It's so hard because you really can't see. We got, hasn't, the fish hasn't come into the lights yet, but boy, I tell you when it does, I think it's long. Oh yeah. Beautiful snook. Okay. Do we have him secure? Because it looks like a nice fish. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, baby, show us this fish. Beautiful. You really like to take care of these bruisers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this fish and suspend him in the water. Look at that fish. Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab his tail, 
unhook them here. Okay. And there he goes. Now, how about that for a little bit of great action? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Pretty awesome, you know? No matter where you go in Florida, there's always some great fish to be had. And I definitely, if you've never tried night fishing, give it a try. You might want to get some lights yourself. I'm Henry Washak, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Fish in the Flats. Next week, we travel to the Venice Flats of Louisiana to hunt quality redfish on artificial lures with Captain Peter Chesner. Closed captioning has been provided to you by King Sailfish Mounts for that once-in-a-lifetime catch. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk was brought to you in part by E21 Biofiber Carrot Sticks Rods, Mercury Marine, number one on the water, Motor Guide, never stop, Power Pro, make every strike count, and Shearwater Boats, shallow water excellence. Great time, I feel like Neil Diamond, you know, hot August night, Tuesday time. Neil yeah. Diamond, I could have think of somebody else. That's all right. <laughs>